Hey, welcome to the shortwave radio channel and I uh, just wanted to talk about a little bit and actually we'll tune around a little bit with it also uh, this little radio that I've been using a lot recently and some of you have noticed that it seemed to be uh, one of the uh, the only DSPs that I did not DSP SDR sorry that I use right now uh, which is not the fact but it you know I have it so you might as well use it uh, the AirSpy HF plus discovery and of course, some of you have been asking me, well, are you using it because you find it better or superior than the, uh, the uh, SDR player SPDX? And honestly, I find they both perform the same. Um, I, I can't really see a difference in performance in, in, the, in, in one favoring the other. Of course, I don't have equipment and you know, measuring, uh, you know, equipment of all kinds. And uh, I know some people swear that the Air Spy HF Plus Discovery is better. I will not go there and will not say that it for me or it is the same but if you do get it you're getting great SDR that definitely is true um, it is also has one little advantage it's very small so in any portable setup um, especially if you're looking at like you know using a tablet and making a maybe a portable SDR to take out everywhere uh, definitely the AirSpy HF plus for its size will be an interesting choice because coupled with a tablet yep you can make a really really portable sdr the um you know sdr play devices you can also they're not really big but they're bigger than this and so less portable technically even though they are still are as portable as can be you can bring your sdr players you know anywhere um <clears throat> I simply been using it a lot in the live shows because that's what's plugged to the laptop that you see on the table. My SDR Play RSPDX is actually connected to my um, a, a little mini PC that is the main PC driving the live show. So that's why you never see it because when I do a live show, I'm using the PC that the RSPDX is actually connected to. Um, I was thinking one day to kind of switch to USB connections and, and, and do the, the RSPDX here. Um, but, you know, if, if you're asking me, you know, will I be happy with shortwave reception and medium wave and long wave on the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery? Definitely. It, it's great. And it will work fine. Um, if I had to have negative points about it, it's, it's coverage because I like the RSPDX for that. It has continuous coverage up to 2 gigahertz, where the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery has very limited coverage of uh, a small part of the VHF spectrum, and that's it. So you're probably more going to use it for the long wave, medium wave, and short wave than anything else where the RSPDX or SP1A from SDR Play, you can gener you know, use it to scan all the frequencies up to two gigahertz. So they're different in there. Uh, but if you take that difference um, off, works great. Um, one thing that it of course has as an advantage is the fact that it can be used with SDR Sharp. That is a major positive point for an SDR because of all the plugins available, definitely. Um, but, and, and, you know, our SDR play devices cannot. But for the rest, um, you know, it's, it's a great SDR. And I've been using it because I have it. And since I have it and paid for it, might as well use it. I mean, if it works great, um, it's, it's an SDR that I can use on one computer. Uh, its spectrum display is a little smaller also. This, that's one thing that I, um, I like over the, uh, the SDR Play devices for that a little more because on a 50-inch screen, you can see 3, 4, 5 megahertz easily. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, I don't know why you want to see so much. You can't see anything. Yes, you can on a big screen. Use your SDR on a 50-inch TV. You're going to see that having 5 megahertz of spectrum is fun because you can see the signals. Uh, yes, on a laptop or a tablet, the screen is much smaller. There, it doesn't make a difference. And whatever you have, which is uh, on the uh, on the AirSpy HF Plus, is is fine on a small screen. Uh, that definitely. I mean, uh, if I'd use the RSPDX on my laptop, even though it's a 17-inch screen, I probably would not use more than one, maybe two megahertz, and that's it. 
It's not like on a 50 inch TV, you know. So, but it's a great SDR. And if you're asking me if it's my favorite or not, it's not my favorite. Um, I stick with my SDR player SPDX for my favorite SDR. And, uh, but it is a great one if you get that instead. And uh, just great performance overall. Choice of software, including SDR Sharp, which is nice. Uh, I use SDR console here, which is the one that I use with it because I don't like SDR Sharp as a software. Um, I would use it for the plugin purposes, but without plugins, I, I rather use a SDR console V3 on the uh, AirSpy. So this is my uh, two cents worth of personal comments on it. Hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and we'll be tuning a little bit with uh, the uh, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery also, kind of having fun with uh, radios. And uh, maybe not tonight because I arrived late, but tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, uh, June 7th, I think uh, we're going to have a lot of radio videos if uh, you guys want to see more. If you enjoy my videos, well, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.